Hi everyone, konnichiwa minasan. So welcome to day two of our yummy autumn soup theme week. And today we are making cat hot pot. And before we go any further, there is no actual cat in the hot pot. It's with chicken, not cat meat. But there is a cute little cat made of radish sitting on top of the hot pot. So I really wanted to show you guys this technique for ages and it's super simple and will take your delicious hot pot, which is so, so good, right to the next level and it's just so, so cute and you can make it any shape that you like. And if you're having friends over and you want to do something really cool for dinner, this is definitely something that you should try out. So let's get started. So first we're going to do a little bit of prep. What you want to do is place the chicken thighs in a bowl and sprinkle over one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of pepper and a tablespoon of sake. Mix everything together and place it in the fridge and marinate for about 10 to 30 minutes. Then to make the broth, soak some kombu seaweed in water for 15 minutes. Then remove the kombu and add the sake and salt. And then just set this aside. Then using a daikon grater, grate an entire daikon radish. Then pour the grated daikon through a cheesecloth and gently squeeze to remove any excess water and set that aside. Then to build your hot pot, arrange the chicken, some Chinese cabbage stems, turnip, carrot and oyster mushrooms in a 10 inch pan. Add the broth and place a lid on the pan. Set the pan to high heat and then once it comes to a boil, bring the heat down to medium low and simmer covered for 15 minutes until the chicken and veggies are fully cooked. Then add the Chinese cabbage leaves and replace the lid and cook for an additional 3 minutes. So in the meantime, while it's cooking, you want to add a few drops of soy sauce to about a fifth of the grated daikon to dye it a light brown. Then shape the daikon into a cat shape using the brown daikon to create spots. Make eyes, nose and mouth out of nori seaweed and stick them to the cat's face. And then set this little kitten aside. So now we're going to make two dipping sauces. For the first one, place some miso paste, sugar, median and water in a small pot and set it to medium heat. Cook until it's thickened for about 4-5 to five minutes and then pour it into a small dish. And then pour some ponzu sauce into a separate dish. Then you want to carefully slide the cat into the center of the hot pot. So I used a rubber spatula to do this and it made it so much easier. Then to eat, place some chicken, veggies and some of the daikon cat into a small dish and top with some of the sauces. Pour some broth over top and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching, I really really hope you enjoyed this video. So tomorrow is a fall inspired recipe and it's so delicious and it's actually a two recipe in one video. So make sure to hit that bunny shaped subscribe button so that you don't miss out. And I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for a new recipe. Bye!